Thank you, Councilor. Okay. Ms. Uh, Diana Thomas. You know, we have uh, five minutes on the public comment session. Hey, I'm Diana Thomas. I came in here to start a conversation last last month on homelessness and especially a severe wet weather uh, shelter. <clears throat> I walked out of here and three days later I had the flu. And I'm really just now getting over it. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to go get this. <clears throat> so I, I just am putting a face back. I don't really have anything to say. A lot of people did. They're giving phone numbers. But I've been so sick that I haven't reached out to anybody. I'm actually going to give up my, the rest of my time to the gentleman that's coming after me. So thank you. And I will be back every month that I can be here. Thank you, Ms. Thomas. Appreciate you very much. Okay, Mr. Burke. You're up, sir. Thank you, Mayor and Councilman, for your time and sacrifice in leading Franklin. Uh, we really do appreciate it. Um, in the February 19, 2020 Franklin Press, there was an article uh, entitled, Local Officials Weigh Needs of Homelessness, of Homeless. Mayor, you were quoted as saying, I don't think we have a real handle on what we're dealing with. I'm a volunteer and president of uh, Making New Beginnings, a 501c3 organization here helping the homeless and those nearly homeless in uh, Macon County. After five years, I still don't consider myself an expert, but I'm here to share what knowledge I do have about homelessness in Macon County. Um, first of all, I wanted to give you a quick definition, uh, but that's an oxymoron because it's from HUD. Um, there are four principles that HUD has with uh, homelessness in, Mac in the country. Uh, the first one is people who are living in a place not meant for human habitation. Uh, your mind can wander as to what that includes. An emergency shelter in a transitional housing uh, facility. Uh, exiting an institution where they were temporarily resided, think jails. Um, the, other, the second criteria is people who are losing their primary nighttime residence, which may include a motel, hotel, uh, doubled up situation and they say within 14 days and lack the resources or support to remain in any kind of housing. Um, the third criteria or third, third definition, families with children or unaccompanied youth who are unstably housed and likely to continue in that state. Couch surfing count comes to mind in that. Uh, people who are fleeing or attempting to flee domestic violence and have no residence or lack the resources and support networks to obtain the permanent housing. Uh, many people ask, are there homeless in Franklin, Macon County? To this I submit the following. Um, on March, on uh, sorry, September 18th, 2019, Chief Adams convened a meeting that included town departments, county departments, various agencies, um, both non-governmental and governmental agencies to discuss homeless in Franklin and Macon County. Uh, March 2019, on the 21st, um, the North Carolina Commerce Department convened a meeting with the Parole and Probation Office, local businesses, and various agencies to discuss those individuals released from prison around the country. Many of those folks come back to Macon County because that's their last quote-unquote residence they have. They bring them back, or if they're arrested in Macon County, they bring them back to Macon County. On uh, March 3rd, 2019, the Superintendent Baldwin uh, convened a meeting with several faith-based organizations and various agencies to discuss reaching out to homeless students and parents. Additionally, ask any town department, police, parks, legal, how much time and effort have they spent dealing with homeless people. Ask Macon County Departments the same question. How much time and effort have they spent dealing with homeless folks? Ask any non-governmental non agency, uh, including Angel, Appalachian Services, Meridian, CareNet, Reach, Via, MPP, No Wrong Door, um, Full Circle, Make a New Beginnings, how much time we all spend dealing with homeless and the money spent on them. Many people ask, who are the homeless? 
that we're dealing with. They're men, they're women, they're children, they're veterans, they're behaviorally challenged, they're substance users, and many of them are just people down on their luck. In short, anyone. Um, how many homeless are we dealing with? We keep on getting that, that question all the time. One way to get an idea on the magnitude is to do a count, and that's what HUD does, is they ask all the communities around the country to do a count on the last Wednesday of January every year. Many folks, if you talk to people about that count, they'll say it's undercounting people. And the reasons are various why everybody thinks that it's undercounted. Sometimes it's dangerous to go in some of the places where homeless are residing to count them. Some places it's rural. I mean, you have to go to a lot of different places to find homeless people in rural areas and not concentrated in one area. Other has to do with weather. Other has to do with simply not wanting to be counted for whatever reason. So to give you a couple statistics, Macon County alone, 2017, there were 70 folks that we counted. The various agencies, REACH does a count, we do a count, um, Full Circle now does a count. So 70 folks. 2018, 65. These are unsheltered. We don't have a shelter here in Macon <coughs> County, so these are unsheltered folks. 2019, there were 91. 2020, we haven't gotten any data back, but our agency alone counted 60, and we know that Full Circle counted 15. Um, just to give you a, a little back, um, kind of a reasonable net check, you know, if you do one of those back of the napkin kind of things, um, U.S. total, there are 567,715 homeless. That's per the count. That same year, this is 2019, there are 329,450, uh, 329,450,000 people in the U.S., according to the Census Bureau. Representing the homeless is 0.017% of the population would be homeless. So just do some simple math. Multiply that times the county. The residents in the county, 34,624 in 2019. That's 59 people. That's at a minimum. 59 people are homeless on that particular day in a January. Um, we think that number is low in Macon County because of their, the various reasons that we talked about. Um, just to give you some numbers from Making New Beginnings alone, I don't have any of the other agency numbers, um, and we emphasize permanent housing. What that means is somebody calls us up and says, I need housing for whatever reason they need housing. We try to get them into a permanent location rather than putting them in a lo local motel. That's our two options, in a local motel or in permanent housing. It's difficult to come up with the funds to do both. So we encourage folks, if you have family or friends that you can live with until you can find a place. Nowadays it's getting harder and harder. It's four, five, six months to find a place now to reside. Rentals are getting more and more difficult to get. So we're trying to help folks get into those permanent places. Most places are asking for a security deposit and or first month's rent. Then there's Duke Energy to deal with, and if they're in the town, they have a water deposit to deal with. That's a lot of money to come up with for anybody. Okay, some specific numbers. 2019, uh, just to give you an idea, we had 1,634 phone calls. 2018, we had 1,649 phone calls. That's people reaching out to us and asking for help. 2017, we had 1,167 phone calls. The number of people served in those particular years, 2019, these are people that we actually paid their rent or paid their deposit that we helped. We actually put out some money to put them someplace <clears throat> or in a shelter, uh, a local motel. 
2019, 229 people throughout the year. 2018, 368 people. 2017, 230 people. Emergency shelter, these are folks on a particular day, it was cold out, whatever, we had no other, we're done. You're done. <clears throat> yes, sir. Um, so just some, can I use her time? You used it. I did already? <laughs> wow, and I had rehearsed this for a lot less. Um, so I guess the, uh, to sum it up is, uh, we have a lot of information we can provide. I think the next step would be, and I, I really don't like committees, and sorry, but I'm not a real government fan, but I think the community as a whole needs to come together and start discussing what our options are in Macon County and to come up with Macon County's and Franklin's solution to this. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Perhaps you could come up with a draft plan or something and get it to me if you would. Thank you. Okay.